So 6W tags is just a really catchy term for some serious metadata. They stand for who, what, where, when, how, and why. Yeah, I know. Anyway, you might be asking yourself, because I did myself, what makes this any different than just a regular old search tool? Well, it's less about what 6W tags are and more about how they work, to use a couple of tags themselves in the definition. More than just representing metadata properties, they filter, organize, and aggregate all at the same time with no additional effort. So using them in search is an obvious place to start. Search will focus on different areas depending on where you initiate. At the top dead center of the page, a default search will look in all collaborative spaces you have access to on your tenant. Now for a great tutorial on the search capabilities of the 3D Experience platform, check out our very own Shivani Patel's video over on the Go Engineer YouTube channel. She really covers it in a lot more detail. For our purposes, I'm going to focus on the current tab using the pull down menu to the side. That will focus all the widgets on the current tab. And depending on where you are in those widgets, we'll also determine what's available in the results. Now we'll access the 6W tags icon to the right of the search tool. It'll focus on the contents of widgets in the tab that are automatically grouping existing properties into the 6W tags. And from there, allow you to see instantly what even exists in the location. In other words, instead of all the same fields to sift through like typical tables and data cards, you only see the fields with values in the search location, filtered and aggregated. And you can narrow your focus further by selecting individual tags, like the priority. Now we used to use tags in the early days of photo aggregation, but it was a really manual task back then. What I can do with this though, is I can quickly find the data that I'm looking for, or actually quickly find whether the data I'm looking for is even in the search area. And once I find it, I can perform subsorts, chart the data, and easily color code it to really make the message clear. Now outside of searching, two areas that I found 6W tags to be not only useful, but super powerful, were sorting data during file open in X apps or SOLIDWORKS Connected. We can quickly find and filter all of the data created by Jacob. Or when trying to sift through the vast number of posts in the 3D swim communities, when really what I'm all about is who and what. Because this list can also be as vast as the daily visitors determine, a search among the search, if you will, will filter the list of filters. Actually cooler than you might think. You should consider the platform and the collaborative spaces to essentially be flat file systems. So tools like tags are the focus measure to drill down. We do this because then the data can appear to exist in different ways in different places for different purposes, instead of living singularly, all divided up in discrete folders. Multi-tag selection mode in the lower right gives you that quick mass selection behavior like holding control in the Windows UI. Search tags in the top can be removed in mass or even pinned, so specific ones will stay even when you empty the trash. There's just simply a vast amount of information at your disposal. Sometimes it's just a matter of knowing what you don't know and how to leverage it. Now please hit the subscribe button if you like the content that we're posting, and you'll get notified the next time we upload a video, which is pretty much all the time. I'm Darren at Go Engineer. On to the next video.